I mean, we've got to start with the Stanley Cup story. I Mm -hmm. think everybody has seen that viral video of the customer with, you know, her car set on fire, but her Stanley Cup remained in perfect condition. And then she got a car from Stanley. Brilliant. So this is so funny because everybody that knew about this moment, have, have you seen the Stanley Cup video? Everybody assumed the NHL Stanley Cup. What are you talking about? Because listen, the Stanley Cup does travel from city to city. Uh, once the the winner of the NHL wins it, that's kind of a whole thing. Uh, Stanley Cup does have a Twitter account as well on, uh, or it has a social media presence as well uh, at the NHL. But we're talking about Stanley, the company that uh, creates these cups. But yeah, this was back in November before... I think before Thanksgiving, like the week of the 17th or what have you. Um, but yeah, the car fire happens. The woman posts on social media. Um, and then immediately the CEO pretty much comes. It's a great job by their team, by the way, right? The CEO comes out. He posts a video within 24 hours. They offer her a brand new vehicle. And you think about the ROI of this PR. Yes, yeah, Stanley has to go out and invest forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 in a brand new vehicle but the amount of press they picked up was absolutely incredible because we looked at it. Minson shot up by 563%. Their Instagram followers went up 6%, 34,000 followers just in the five days after the viral post. That video got 56 million views. I think it's still counting. We counted this back in early February. That video is still getting a lot of play. Um, And then 2 million views, Kayla, from the CEO's response video to that. So... Um, what's really crazy is the the bottom line revenue this created, and you pulled this stat, which my jaw was on the floor this morning when I looked at it. That Stanley, uh, they they had seventy three million in revenue in twenty nineteen, seven hundred and fifty million in sales at the end of twenty twenty three. What a difference! And a lot of that could be contributed to. I mean, these cups are like on the black market; they're going on eBay for like four hundred dollars cu- a cup. Like, what is happening here? To the point where I think. We saw, was it Patagonia do something similar where I think, I don't know if we figured it out or not. Was that a planted moment where the woman is hiking and she needs a a jacket and they fly one out to her and everything like that? So I think now people are skeptical, like all these moments, are they going to be curated and not be natural? But again, this is why it's so important to have a strong social team that's monitoring conversation. And again, if your customers are dealing with something, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, to be able to speak with them. Social media is social, right? You have to be social with the end consumer. And I think, um, man, did Stanley just capitalize on this? And what's so cool is instead of just saying we got 53 million views and we got all these different followers, I mean, directly hitting the bottom line in a big, big way to the point where these are the hottest things on the market right now. Just insane. No, absolutely. And I think it like it's kind of the perfect cap because I think it's caused everyone to really like reflect on the last few years that they've had um, Mm. and just like what they've done in terms of completely shifted their target market from construction workers to millennial women. Right, right. So it's incredible with the right marketing campaign or being able to be at the right place at the right time. And you got to give them credit. Again, looking at that trend, looking at that moment, whoever said, hey, will we be interested? Is, is, there a, is there a world where we buy this woman a car and we have the CEO and the CEO's like, I mean, I think it makes sense to me. Let's roll. And then they 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 reap the benefits of that. So such a great job and such a great case study, I'm sure, in marketing, especially in social marketing circles that we'll talk about for decades to come. No, absolutely. Um, they have had another viral moment, though, that's not so nice. Um, they... <laughs> Recently, there was another viral TikTok trend about controversy lead, um, in their cups, and they did address it. But it's also got other competitors like Hydro Flask joining the conversation. So it'll be interesting to see how that could impact their sales and revenue long term. I'm not going to get into this story, but we'll have to break it down in a different show. I was looking at the market share of DoorDash compared to that of Uber Eats and Postmates. And remember when Postmates was like the only game in town and had like 90% of market share and now they're like at 8% and DoorDash has like 60% of the market. And this is what was so funny during uh, really the COVID era, right? Where it's like Skype had a 20 year head start and still found a way to fumble the bag and here comes Zoom. But it's, 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 it's fascinating to me to see how either companies that have market share lose it um, and when people like Stanley or companies like Stanley maybe have kind of puttered out or they're just kind of there 
all of a sudden can, you know, 10 X their revenue in two years based on being cool again. It's, it's fascinating to dig deeper into those, but you know, this is something that if you haven't looked into it, if your team doesn't know about it and you, and you're working in social, obviously dig deeper into this story because it's a great example of how all of our brands can capitalize on success. And again, it goes back to the, the tried and true method, be communicative with your social listener uh, or listen to your social fans and speak with them. Be social on social. 